Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking. I've got this poem from Quiet Mirror, my collection of poems, uh, originally published in 1985 by Focus. and been amended slightly and revised over the uh, 50 years that I've been writing. Through the years I've loved. It's called For, all you, for you All, I've, it's called. I should have mentioned that. <laughs> for You All. Through the years I've loved, as down the months I've rolled, of all the world I craved for you, whose heart would always lie elsewhere. But to find you so different, so nice, to share you so real, so unhidden, but the times press on so fast, a past with its reckoning and its answer. We shall meet again afterwards, at that meeting which I always dread, with the threat for so long as your life, to greet me on that wretched day. So we pass to the jaws of death, to his gaping mouth hole, and all alone. I pleaded with you, and you again, and then you began to laugh. And then you listened to me for the first time, you vain and foolish woman. You listened again as a jealous girl, and you listened, thirdly, with patience. Perhaps you became mine then, beyond the feeling. It all began one hot summer night, the air my life on some black rain curtain, which turned to prism sunlight in shining white, when first I saw you through the driving rain, discarded as some misused merchandise, in an agony of loss, no longer together. So am I all that could be offered up to your demise? as raging storms search before the clearing weather, all over hatred through years of love loss, gone forever in the life of many trees, yet compares you with the crystal green cross discarded with a pink petal or brown honey from the seas. I did so miss you when you were away, so glad my love to know to see you again today. And to end the event had no purpose now. The love that started in the heat of summer matured with a dying autumn mist, dead by a Christmas and alone again. Arguments were so few, the love much, but hugging months were ended abruptly, like a fog dawn amid the sun's heat. Still I love you, but for no reason now, all that promise so ruefully undone, as meaningless as that quest for a love. To love but not loving was that quest, and I with the request to leave forever. So I went spinning around as a dream when the other man came to your bed. I wrote that in London in October 1983. Okay, a long time ago. Bye-bye.